Receivers to the near side, Bothwell in the back. He will be a blocker for Lopez as he screams ahead across the 30 for a... And he'll make it to the 39-yard line. Seven-yard pickup on first down. Poe wrapped him extent. That's the age-old question in the staff room, okay? When you have a guy like Lopez, we want him to run. He, make, he makes us more explosive, but when he runs, you, you're hold, you're, you've got your heart in your throat. Certainly helps that Bothwell is in this backfield. The rookie picks up five and a first down. Bothwell is wearing that special number five tonight. I'm sure he's wearing it with unbelievable pride. Picks it up the first down, and they're going to feed it to him again. This time, Troy was ready for him, maybe a couple of yards. Jordan Stringer wraps him up. Uh, a lot of pride pumping through him and, and really wants to play well today. Lopez off his back foot, flips it downfield, looking for Pritchett. And it's going to land incomplete. He was have a scholarship coming into fall camp. Well, he played so well in the fall that he earned one in August. Now, penalty flag here Four before start. the snap. Offense, number five yard penalty, remain third down. Now, these penalties continue to rear their head. South Alabama, again, the most penalized team in the Sun Belt. And this is really starting to get consistency out of your offense. You're in no rhythm. That's the problem. Lopez trying to get some of that yardage back. He's going to hit DJ Thomas Jones, their athletic tight end. He'll get eight. But it's it will be Jack Martin, senior for Moby. Devontae Ross standing at the 10 yard line for Troy. And he'll make a fair catch with 11 05. That's a tough break. They finally make a play. They fumble the ball. They get it back, but they're behind the chains again on second down and 10. He passed. It'll be second and mm. nine. Second and not. So they're going to say that Ross did not line. even have possession, Steve. So it's an in at that. And, I, and I, I wondered if this would become a factor. Damian Taylor in the backfield with Kilcrease. And another penalty marker. And this is going to be a false start. False start. Offense number nine. At the distance to the globe. Second down. Show and blitz. And they're going to run past it. Up the middle, Damian Taylor gets it across the 10 yard line. Ahead of the third down. That's a gain of six for Taylor. You know, Troy really had some depth in running back Steve that backfield. Jordan Lovett still out with the knee. Jarris Williams out for the year with the knee. And when it rains, it pours, it seems. They really like Damian Taylor, though, and they feel like he's a powerful runner. Not breakaway speed, but powerful. Will be in blocking formation on third and eight, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 22. The South Alabama defense from Jake Voice in the free safety, the ring leader of that Jaguar secondary. And that's his third interception of the year. Alabama, really big players and fan favorites here in Mobile. Bullock to the right of Gio Lopez. And it will be Cantrell, and he's blown up behind the line. Jordan Stringer, the leading tackler for these Trojans. That's a loss of line this week because of the injuries. If there's some growing pains going on, Lopez is going to take a shot to the end zone, lofts one to the corner. And the ball is caught. Is he in the end zone? Yeah. With the extra point. After the turnover, a two-play, 22-yard score. And it's now 10-0 South Alabama. Tucker Kilcrease stared that ball down if you watched his eyes he just stared it down the linebacker just got underneath that he's got to look that off he didn't do that set up that big sequence and allow for that touchdown you got to line up now get ready to play the next series put it behind you now Troy's offense really needs to find something they've had the ball four times they've got nine total yards and they haven't picked up a first down yet 
Devontae Ross is going to try to spark this team on special teams, and he's not even going to get to the 10 yard line. Hunted down by Ricky Hyatt, the Kentucky transfer. And it's going to be a long field again for Jared Parker's team. Tried to bring that across the field. It's very difficult to do that. Time and distance for the kickoff team to keep its lanes and keep it contained. They'll drive a jet sweep here with Mojo Dort. She's one of their fastest guys on the roster, but not fast enough for the South Alabama defense. Jaden Boyson, who had the interception on the last series, dumps him for a loss. There's Sean Reagan, the offensive coordinator. You can see the wheels turning there. It's like, what can we do here to get something going? Kilcrease is going to do the quarterback keeper to get out of the shadow of the goal line. It's a gain of four. Distance. So you got to be careful and smart. Oh my. Boy, it's like, I don't want to say it, coach. You may have jinxed it. Through the back of the end zone, and that'll be a safety. That's. Back or pass. <laughs> it's going. Yeah, it's steamrolling a little bit. Results in the center. Good. Not good. Not one first down, I believe, still. Zero first downs. And we are, you know, into the, well into the second. His character guys have been bought in as they try to reset for the second half. They, they were very confident coming into this game tonight, especially with the extra time to prepare. Think, 12 days to do it. I think that's all accurate. I just think that it's a fragile thing. A good field position here again for South Alabama. Shamar Sandgren hits it across the 30 yard line. And Mother's great high school baseball player. He is a, a machine in the weight room. He just loves everything about sports. Going to flare it out to the near side. There's Webb again. Webb cutting it back, trying to stay on his feet, and does to the 35 yard line. DJ Thomas Jones goes out to the far side in motion. They're going to swing it out to Bothwell, the running back. And there's another guy that they feel they could build around. Fluff Bothwell picks up eight and a first down. Those are two freshmen, Coach Lopez and Bothwell. They just hope they can keep them for more than a year or two. Coaches told me earlier down on the field. Up front it was Henry from the secondary. And now ahead of a third and 22. Lopez dancing, and he gets free. Lopez down the middle of the field, bashing through Troy defenders and gets to the 49-yard line of the Trojans. That's a run of 20, and he nearly hit big-time players. Most competitive moments, they rise up, they make those big-time plays. That's a guy right there. Margin with the PAT. And then the runs to show his leg talent, his running ability. I think the interesting thing, Clay, now will be with Troy. What are they going to do to defend hit that right now? And we'll see that when they're on defense. Right now, they're on offense. Well, Gio Lopez made his first career start last November against these Troy Trojans. He played pretty well in a loss complete on first down. First down for this offense. First of the night. Landon Parker on this reception. Gets it out across the 40. Voice and wraps him up. Brings him down. He's got a nice release. He gets the ball out, spins it out pretty quickly, and he's really taking what the defense has given him right now. And of course, Goose Crowder is on the sideline tonight. He is wearing his jersey, but Matthew Caldwell, while well, Kilcrease was in there, about the possibility if he did go in about what he was seeing. And this could be a first down to Parker. College football, the veteran moves the chains again for the Trojans as they're starting to find some traction on offense. Two first downs, two first downs of the game. Other official comes in and says it touched the turf. Well, Landon Parker, 32 yards. I'll go back to the ground at Damian Taylor. And so now it's third, and he is going to be close. It's going to depend on the spot. And a penalty flag comes in. It's getting chippy. He 
Again, this is a rivalry game. The belt is on the line. Emotions run high. I would think if they're short here, I don't know what the penalty situation is, but Troy's got to go for this if they're. Was that the runner made the first down? After the play, personal foul, unsportsmanlike, unnecessary roughness, number three of the offense. It'll be 15 yards from the end of the run, still first and 10. So Tate for Troy started at their own 25 yard line. New quarterback in, Matthew Caldwell. And he's moving the offense a little bit better, but that one is batted down on first down. Tucker Kilcrease got the start for the six. On second down, Caldwell complete, caught. Good move, and that's Zariah Beeson, the Oregon State transfer, and it's going to be very close, and they're going to give it to him first. That first down, nice throw as well. Yeah, they need guys to start making plays, that's for sure. Go back to the ground attack. Gerald Green, the sixth-year senior, lowers his head for four yards. Green, uh, not a guy that is known to be used that much between the tackles. He's a the guy they want to get out on the perimeter, but serves well there. Second down and six. Rifle shot to the outside, and there is a pass that is caught by Devontae Ross. Boy, we have not said his name much here in the first half, Steve. Flag. Incomplete, but it looks like a P.I. coming up here against the Jags. Courtney McBride, the transfer from FAU with his third sack of the year. Deep now into South Alabama territory. This will be play number 13. They made a change at quarterback, and it seems to be the right play. Caldwell over the middle, incomplete. He wanted Ross, and he was bracketed by the linebackers. And it's third and 18. Risky throw. Really didn't have his feet set, sort of lobbed it in there into that bracket, and uh, those kinds of. Such a nice job on Ross tonight, leading receiver for Sunbelt. Seven touchdown catches. And he's got two catches tonight for just 18 yards. Third and 18, Caldwell to a wide open man. It's Ross, tries to cut it back, but he is dropped by Voison, and it'll be fourth down. They're gonna let that play clock go down. Smart move here, try to drain the clock. Leave just, you know, right, right before they run out of the uh, clock here, they'll kick the field goal, and don't give South Alabama too much time to be able to go down and put any more points on the board before half. And don't forget Troy, you know, they're going to start with the football in the second half. So this has been a positive development here for this Troy football team. They didn't have a single first down in the first quarter. And while the quarterback, Tucker Kilcrease, was in the ball game, they just couldn't move the ball. But they have since going to Caldwell. This was coming against him. Kick is up. It's long enough. And it is good. So Matthew Caldwell in the halftime feeling like they've got a good foothold here and they too will go back in and talk about where they want to head. South Alabama hasn't beaten Troy in seven years. They haven't beaten the Trojans in Mobile since 2014. You think that they want to get that monkey off their back? Boy. Major Applewhite in his first year as head coach here. He's been the offensive coordinator the last few years. Happy to be back. And it'll be fair caught inside the five-yard line. And South Alabama will have it at the 25-yard South Alabama has not had a second-half lead during the six-game losing streak to Troy. But they're going to have that here tonight as Lopez takes a knee. Good first half for South Alabama trying to get their third win of the year and their second in conference play. <laughs> Dầu Omega, tốt.
mua một miếng thịt lườn không của nó phải hơn trăm nghìn là toàn thịt đấy còn đây là con hay mua cái này ăn nó chắc rồi trên kia con đặt bầu con này con toàn mua lườn con ăn cái lườn này nó có nhiều mỡ nó ngậy ấy mà nó không béo Thế con bắt ra về tí nó sao cho nó ít để nó ăn trong tuần nó cũng không để lâu được cũng cứ để nó bò nó chơi đồ chơi cũng được